The Fence Rebuilding Program is part of the Early Needs Recovery Program and it aims to support primary producers to regain productivity after those February 2022 floods. It's really important that primary producers can repair and re-establish fence lines. For one, it helps them restock where they can regain some profitability after those floods. It helps them manage biosecurity issues such as pest animals. And in general, that means then they can focus more on other parts of their business. We're working in eight local government areas, supporting two not-for-profit organisations in fence rebuilding for $1.1 million. So we're focusing on those regions that were heavily impacted on the North Coast. The not-for-profit organisations that we're supporting are Blaze Aid and Shortrack. Blaze Aid are very experienced in fence rebuilding after natural disasters, so they are already in these communities doing fence rebuilding for primary producers. Local land services are really excited to support Shore Track. Shore Track is a charity, so our mission is to work with disengaged young people, disengaged from school and or community, to teach them skills, trades-based skills and employability skills that will help them build their confidence and ultimately their resilience and their courage. So we partnered with Tokal Agricultural College and they are delivering a certificate two in rural operations. One of the units was fencing and there's a lot of interest with these young people in rural operations, in farm work. So when the grant came through with the opportunity to do fencing for community, it was also part of our circle of courage which involves giving back to community, developing independence and mastery and, and having a sense of belonging. I've been with the Shore Track crew for probably six months now. It's good to, you know, give back and not expect anything. Get some work done and, yeah, help people out. We've got a really good crew. It's, um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, got Rod here as well. Always makes me day better. The local farmers, who many of them just couldn't afford this work themselves. I mean, not only have they lost the pastures and potentially some of their cattle, they didn't have the money to be able to afford to do this. So to offer the work to not-for-profits, it's just such a fabulous opportunity. By the end of the program, we will have supported up to 80 primary producers with over uh, 400 volunteers involved and 60 kilometres of fencing. We are now seeing these fences being built by these really keen young people it's something that we really um, see as an important part of supporting not only flood recovery but these youth in these particular communities. To know your community's there to help makes you feel a whole lot better. So for, for a, the big picture of that grant is a happier, healthy community, you know, a more vibrant community that works together.